I tried to make you look good, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of hard to do, Francisco, but thanks for trying. Today I'm in the beautiful city of Boston, a city unmistakably steeped in history, with originals like the oldest public park in the U.S., the first university, and the oldest original Major League Baseball stadium in these United States. Today we're going to explore how communities are making an old apartment home new again with their make-ready process. Join me as we get back to work. I'm Terry Danner, and after spending 30 years in the multifamily industry, I believe that our on-site teams are the everyday unsung heroes. They make it look easy to get hard stuff done and are consistently working to keep our community safe. Most of the world is getting back to work after quarantine, but our on-site teams never stopped working. That's why I'm on a mission from coast to coast to find the people that are stepping up in difficult times. During this series, we're gonna talk about best practices and how teams are adapting to new challenges. I may even get a little dirty along the way. So join me as we learn about the tough stuff that keeps our industry moving and celebrate the people behind it. Let's get back to work. I'm here in Boston, founded in 1630. It's been attracting settlers for years. Today, Boston's home to many, including nearly 700,000 apartment residents. Here to tell me more is Massachusetts Apartment Association Executive Director, Adrian Malley. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Terry. Thanks so much for joining us. The Massachusetts Apartment Association is proud to support its members in the multifamily industry here in Boston. We support over 228,000 jobs, contributing to about $54 billion to the local economy. Those numbers are astounding. It is, and we keep on developing here in Boston, so it's great. Well, I'm headed over to the historic district to visit Equity Residential's Avenir Apartments to learn how they prepare an apartment for a new resident. That's a great property in an ever-changing and hot neighborhood, so I'm sure the visit will be great. Equity really sets the standard here in Massachusetts, and I'm sure your visit with them will be terrific. Hey, Terry, welcome to the Avenir. I'm Jeremiah, I'm the regional manager for Equity Residential. Nice to meet you, Jeremiah. Thanks for having me. At Equity, we have 300 communities across the country. In Boston, we have a stronghold with 23. Well, and I know Equity is a real estate investment trust, and they're known as being forward thinking and setting the standard for the industry. Yes, we're always planning for the future at Equity. We want to ensure our employees have the tools to make sure the communities thrive. Here at Avenir is Anthony Cantania. He is the property manager for the community. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Hey, Terry. Nice to meet you as well. So here at Avenir, we're located in the historic Bullfinch District. Uh, it's a very desirable area for residents, so when we have a resident move out, we want to make sure we get the apartment ready for the next person. Um, so here to show you that will be our service manager, Rodlin. Rodlin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you ready to get back to work? Let's do it. This is nice new technology, right? We're talking about equity residential as a read, very forward thinking. Talk about the transition from the old dry erase boards to now the electronic make ready boards. Uh, well, the, the old dry erase board, um, was very time consuming now and it's much different because we can do it on the go. There's no longer a need to use the dry erase board unless it's kind of something that you, uh, I guess, nostalgic about. <laughs> <laughs> well, for us old people in the business, I mean, sometimes you are a little nostalgic. But with the old dry erase boards, I mean, you'd also have to walk back to the maintenance shop, right, or wherever the board was posted. Correct. Um, at any time just to update it, right? Now you said uh, everything's basically visible on your mobile device. Yes, and, then, and sometimes guys did not update the board. So let's say that that guy went on vacation and we have no idea unless we go physically check if the apartment has been completed and maybe the turns the next day and for some reason he forgot to update the board and we didn't know. We have to go back in there and now it's, it, it becomes a thing. Now everyone has access to close, complete uh, task right on their phone. It makes things so much easier for everyone because let's say that the guy is on vacation. He remembers, hey, wait a minute, I finished that apartment. He can close it. Um, but yeah, it, it, it definitely makes things a lot easier for us. Now, how would I go about assigning these individual tasks? Fairly simple. If we have an apartment that needs to be made ready, I simply click assign to. I scroll down to one of our service techs, choose the service tech, and that task has now been assigned. We'll assign you as a contractor today. Okay. Now you've been assigned as a contractor. Now let's get to work. Okay. Some of the things that we're gonna be doing today is replacing a filter. Okay. 
Um, we're going to be replacing a garbage disposal, recocking a tub, and we're going to be reviving these floors. All right. Let's start with the filter. Okay. All right, so we'll take this one out. Great. Number one. You know, it's easy to change the filter. You know, kind of pop in, pop out. So now we're going to re replace the garbage disposal. Okay. Garbage disposal is located here. First thing you're going to do is unplug the disposal. Okay. You're going to remove the dishwasher hose. Probably going to need a screwdriver for that. Okay. Can you give me a little light in here? Sure. Now you can twist off the disposal. So you've got to, you want to try to really push it up there while spinning that, while spinning that bracket. We don't want to cause too much damage. <laughs> All right, Rodwin, give it a try. <laughs> it's all yours. All I right. got flashlight duty. Cool. Put the experts at work. So next is the drain. Well, I was thinking that I would love to have Rodwin come to my house and change out my garbage disposal because <laughs> he's got the expertise. So we completed the filter and the disposal. Now let's go on to caulking the tub. All right. Typically, just like in painting an apartment, it should be a fresh coat of paint, it should be a fresh bead of caulking. So it involves stripping away the old caulking, uh, cleaning the area down, and then applying a fresh bead of uh, caulking. It just adds that extra pop to the area. All right, Rodwin, ready to make it look new again? Let's make it look new. All right. Let's call Steve Dabowski. <laughs> Show him some quality work. You know, caulking, relatively easy, I think. I mean, I've done that in my own home. All right, you want to finish her up? Sure. Let's see how a pro does it. Oh, that's style with speed. Yeah, so I was the slow guy. <laughs> you just kind of whip through, you know, kind of put it on, you know, smooth it out. Life's good. For me, well, I'll put it on, you know, smooth it out. Oh, wait, I missed the spot. Oh, it just needs time to cure. Okay. Actually, hang on. Backwards. Terry uh, did help with the floors. Uh, he was a, a, a huge help cleaning the floors. Wow, what a shine. Well, Terry, I think the floors look great. I think the resident moving in is gonna be real happy. I think this is up to equity standards. Definitely is. Rylan does his best every day when he's working and he leads by example every time he works. He has just had such an impact on the property and the community, the residents, and he's, he thinks differently as a leader. Big fan of the work that you're doing here. I mean, thanks for showing me how to do the make readies. Uh, I know that's a critical part of uh, any residency, right? It's that first impression. You want to make it look good and you guys did a great job. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you for all your help. Oh, it's been awesome. I don't know, I didn't do the work. You're the expert in all this, so. But we have some others here to thank you. Uh, first of all, let me thank you with a scholarship here. Uh, compliments of Grace Hill for your Cam T to continue your own education in this wow. industry. Wow, I've been given the opportunity to further my education and further my skills. It's just gonna make me a overall better employee. HD Supply also wants to recognize you for what you've done. We at HD Supply appreciate your business and thank you. We're here to support you, offer the products and services that you need, and appreciation for your hard work and dedication. On behalf of our team, I'd like to present this to you. Wow. Thank you so much. 
sometimes with apartments like these, the grout looks kind of dirty. And one of the options is ripping out all the grout and starting from scratch. Having a machine that we can use to expedite that process is awesome. We have another individual who would like to show his appreciation for all that you do. Hello, Rodlin, the team at Avenir, and all teams across Equity Residential. A huge thank you for everything you do each and every day to take care of our residents, our communities, and each other. I was so proud of the way that you transitioned onto the site plan platform, and I really love seeing the extra efficiency, organization, and visibility that that's brought to our company. Do me a favor, while you have Terry out on the property, let's make sure we get a full eight hours worth of work out of him today. Awesome. I mean, it was definitely important that Rylan got recognized. I know he's been doing such a great job. He's a hard worker, and he definitely deserves it. He's always looking to expand his knowledge, um, exposure, and learn. Um, and that was, you know, definitely a key reason we wanted to align Rodlin with that scholarship. Well, that's how you get it done. I've learned a lot on this journey. We've traveled all across the country on a three-month, 15-city mission to highlight how the teams have adapted during this pandemic implemented best practices, and continue to deliver exceptional service to our residents. The journey strongly emphasized great teams comprised of great individuals doing their best work each and every day. I hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for what it's like to walk in their shoes. These unsung, hopefully now more sung heroes are on the front lines, extraordinary people doing extraordinary things under extraordinary circumstances. Great teams equal great communities, and we all need to commit to providing these great teams with the tools to do their best work. To Grace Hill and HD Supply, thank you for your ongoing commitment to the industry and its team members. To all of our on-site team members, you make the seemingly impossible possible. On behalf of all of us, we sincerely thank you. Well, where will we go next? We'll see, but for now it's time to get back to work. Back to work with Terry Danner, episode 15, scene, interview with Terry, take 100. <laughs> At Avenir, we have Anthony Quintanilla. He's our property manager. Good morning, mate, Adrian. <laughs> I said, oh, you're so morning. Morning. Now you've been assigned as the contractor. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to work. Now let's get to work. <laughs>